Well, I don't really have one, you know, so I just go with the flow, you know, so I don't really have one, if I'm honest. Well, playing on the left is quite difficult because I'm right-footed, because usually I tend to cross the ball when I'm playing on the right, so on the left is more coming inside, making runs in behind and trying to score, which I'm doing at the moment, but when I'm on the right, it's easier for me to deliver a, deliver a ball. I'm loving it at the moment. I'm just on fire at the moment, so I'm loving life at Aston Villa and we're doing well as well. When I got rejected at my um, first club, Harrowborough, I went for trials with the reserve team and they didn't even recognise me or spot me. But obviously, I didn't give up. Two months later, I went back, signed for the youth team and never looked back since then. Winning games. <laughs> I'm playing well. <laughs> and one thing that has impressed me um, at Aston Villa, I think it's just the atmosphere at the stadium and I'll just say the supporters. And obviously I know the club is historic, but I think the supporters got a part to play. For me, I just look out to um, Jonathan Kodja, my partner in crime, because he's always happy, excited, you know, make jokes. I just have to look at him and laugh. If I'm down, I look at him and laugh, you know, and I'm sure there's other people so that have different kind of um, banter. So I think it's all, all sort of different um, banter, depend on your humour, sense of humour. Ghana. Oh, I forgot the Navy in the World Cup. <laughs> um, I think it's down to Brazil or um, probably Germany, but I hope one of the African nations can um, win it. I'm just always happy, you know, so I can't really say um, things really annoy me. I just, I just go with everything, you know, so I'm not really bothered by a lot of things. I'm not really faced by a lot of things, so. Um, I can't really say what really bothers me, if I'm honest. I guess sometimes when you have a new manager and he has players that he trusts, it's difficult for a player, you know, but then you just have to work hard and I think that's what I did. I worked hard and my chance came and I took my chance, never looked back. So now I just have to keep on um, working hard and hopefully I stay in the team. Well, I think everyone knows everything about me now. I'm a great dancer. <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> uh. I was really proud when I first got my first call up for my national team, Ghana. You know, playing against Brazil, I think that's every player's dream to play against one of the best teams, one of, one of the best countries in the world, you know. So making my debut, I know it's only like 20 minutes against Brazil, but it was a great moment. I remember Ronaldinho, Pato, Neymar. I even got Pato's top and Neymar's top. I gave it to one of my best friends and my brother. You know, I didn't even keep the top, you know. But if I get caught up again, I just have to take my opportunity. Um, obviously, I have to go for skillful players, forget defenders. But then I think I might need one defender at the back. I put Sam, obviously, Sam at the back. Chesley, one defender. And then the rest, myself, Andre Green, Jack Grealish, and then Jennifer Codger. Was that six? Oh, so I have to take myself out then. <laughs> I take myself out. <laughs> At the moment, I scored 10 goals, and that's one of my achievements in every season. My target is to hit 10 goals. I've um, achieved my target, so the next step is probably aim for 15, and I look forward to the next next step. Um, I have to be honest, my player of the season so far, I think it's between um, Whelan or um, Chesley. And last season I even went for um, Chesley. So I think it's between Whelan and Chesley.